It's wonderful to see you again, my dear doers. Now that you know all about quality control points and the quality checks that they create, it's time to discuss some of the more tailored check types. Today, we're going to be focusing on measure checks specifically. You see, sometimes during the manufacturing process, we need to make sure that a component or product adheres to a specific measurement. Measure quality checks make this possible by prompting employees to enter a recorded measurement that is compared to an ideal measurement. If the recorded measurement is within a specified tolerance of the ideal measurement, then the check passes. If the measurement's outside of the tolerance, the check fails. That's pretty cool, right? So, enough chit chat, let's get right into it. Before we see how to process and measure quality check, I want to show you how to configure a quality control point that will create measure checks automatically. This tutorial will mostly cover the QCP settings specific to measure checks. So be sure to check out our quality control points video for a full overview of QCPs, which are quality control points for you acronym lovers. To get to our QCPs, I'm going to jump inside of the quality application. And then from inside of here, we need to click on quality control up at the top header. And you kind of guessed it at this point, control points. And here we are. If I wanted to create a new QCP, I would select the new button over here and then we can get started. And from here at the top of the page, however, I've already configured a QCP to use for this tutorial. So let's actually just use that as an example. So we're going to go back out of here. And the one that I want is actually number seven over here, measure stool. Now inside of here, the products page over here lists our stool product, while the operations field that we have over here lists our main warehouse, where these will actually be operating and happening. And that's where the manufacturing operation occurs. This means that the QCP creates a quality check for stool manufacturing orders. Inside of the type field, as you kind of noticed over here, our type is going to be a measure, which is a measure quality check type. Now, when this check type is selected, two new sections appear below it. The first is titled norm that we have right there. Now, what is that? This is used to set the ideal measurement we want the stool to conform to. I am able to specify both the measurement value, which we have over here, 2.5 feet, and the unit of measurement, which happens to be, in this case, feet over here on the right. Of course, it doesn't have to be a unit of length. You can also enter a unit of volume, weight, etc. Maybe you're measuring yogurt, tolerance of yogurt. Now, next, we have the tolerance section, which I just brought up. This is used to specify the range that the recorded measurement must be within to check and to pass that check. Now, the section includes two fields titled from and then to which as you guessed it for this check, I've set the from field to 2.45 and the to field to 2.55. This means that the measurement needs to be at least 2.45 feet and no more than 2.55 feet. If it's outside of this range at all, the check will fail. Now, finally down over here inside of the instructions tab at the bottom of the form over here, I've entered instructions for how to take this measurement. In this case, we need to measure the height of the stool after it's assembled. And there you have it, a QCP fully configured to start pumping out measure check. Now let's take a look at how to process a measure check created by this QCP. I've already created a manufacturing order for one stool. So let's open that now by heading over to the manufacturing application, selecting operations at the top and manufacturing orders. We're going to select the MO that was created today for the stool. And we're there. Now since I configured the QCP to automatically create a quality check every time an MO is created for our stool product that we have right there, a purple quality checks button appears right there. So let's click it. Now, inside of this quality checks pop-up window, we can actually process the quality check. The pop-up window shows me the instructions, which happen to be measure the height of the assembled stool that we can then use to measure the product. Below that, we see the measure field right there. It's an option to enter something. This is where the measurement gets entered. If I were to enter a measurement within the tolerance range specified over on the QCP, the check would pass and we can move on with the rest of the MO. However, let's enter a measurement outside of that range and see what happens when we enter and something fails. So we're gonna do 4.20 feet, 420 feet. And we're gonna hit validate. Great, we failed, unhappy. The message in the body of the actual window tells us the measurement that was entered along with the range that the measurement should have been within. At the bottom of the pop-up window, we have two buttons, confirm the measure, correct the measure. Clicking confirm, well, it confirms that the failed measurement was entered intentionally. Clicking correct measure, it'll reopen the previous pop-up window and allows me to enter a different measurement if I wanted to. This is useful in situations where a failed measurement was entered by accident. Maybe I didn't mean to type in 4.20 feet. 
However, let's say that the measurement of 4.20 feet was actually correct. I'm going to click confirm measure again. And once that I do, the quality check fails, causing a couple of things to happen. First, the purple quality checks button at the top of the ammo is replaced by a quality alert button right there, which opens a quality alert form in a new page. Second, the actual font of the quality check smart button up here at the very top center, well, it's changed. It's gone and turned into a very dark red. This tells us that at least one quality check created for this MO has failed. And there you have it, we failed. But we succeeded because you now know how to configure a QCP to measure quality checks and how to process the checks themselves. That's it for today. See you next time, O-Doers.